Now be sure and hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and click on the description below because believe it or not, the great Eldersky, the Larry Elder show here on Epic Times has been demonetized by YouTube. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of our skepticism about the COVID lockdowns. Maybe it's because of our skepticism about the results of the 2020 presidential election. Maybe it's because we talked about the hypocrisy of, of Democrats who've been election deniers about 2016. I don't know. All I know is that we have been demonetized. Now, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click on the description below, and that way you will be added to our email list. We'll let you know when there are videos so you won't miss anything. You remember the story of the Border Patrol agents who were allegedly whipping migrants? Here is what Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas said about that. Sir, I'm not a, that is something that is something that horrified us all. And you know, this morning I was on radio and um, the interviewer uh, said that it was, uh, it troubled uh, very profoundly the black and the African American community. And I, I, I said one thing, and, and it, this should be clear. Those are not the only communities that it, um, it horrified. Those are not the only communities uh, that it concerned. Of course, that concern might be most acute uh, given uh, the history uh, in this country and in other parts uh, of the world. But all of America is horrified to see what those images suggest. All of America, whether you're in the black community, whether you're in the white community, whether you're in the Hispanic community, whether you're in the Asian American community, whether you're in the Amish community, whether or not you're left-handed, whether you're right-handed, whether or not you're over six feet, you're under six feet, we're all concerned about these racist patrol agents whipping these migrants. And the media picked up on Secretary Mayorkas and they went ballistic. Images that make you think of how enslaved people were treated. Border agents using some kind of whips around migrants at the border. At least one Border Patrol agent using a, a whip and was effectively trying to lasso some of the migrants. Oh my God, the Klan is back. They're whipping these migrants. Whipping, I don't care what anyone hmm. says. Yes, it's a rain, but nonetheless, there was whipping that happened. Border Patrol agents using reins against migrants. They say that this- First it was whips. Then it was rains. Either way, very bad. Either way, very racist. Looks like slavery. They say that this is cruel, that it's just like slavery. You know, whenever I watch MSNP Hee which I watch so you don't have to, I always might tell myself, what's the over under on when they're going to use the word Donald Trump? That's two words. Or when they're going to use the word slavery. You mean, I was not aware that whips. Um, which come from the slave era, slavery era. Were slavery era reference number two. Part of the package that we issue to any sort of law enforcement. I was unaware we issued a package of slave tools to our border patrol agents on the border. I had no idea, says Joy Race Card Reed. 2021, seeing whips and being them corralled on horse. In the year of 2021, who'd have thought it? It's almost like James Byrd being dragged. It's almost like somebody burning a cross on people's lawns. It's almost like watching a black man hang from a tree. I never thought in the year 2021 we would say something like this. This was just a sickening and dehumanizing image. When you start whipping people with, and you want to split hairs between reins and whips, I don't care what it is that lack I don't care whether it's a rain or a whip or a whip or a rain you say tomato I say tomato it is still slavery humanity race is just the most palpable tool in the toolkit it used to be of the Democratic Party back right. in the day when one slight problem one slight problem none of it was true and before Secretary Mayorkas went on television to bemoan the use of reins or whips on these migrants, he knew it wasn't true. Here's an email. A photographer was there. Email shows some of the Haitian men started running trying to get around the horses. I've never seen them whip anyone. He was swinging it, but it can be misconstrued, this photographer writes, when you're looking at the picture, end of quote. Here's what Fox News Bill Malugan said about the emails that shows 
the officials in the Biden administration knew ahead of time they weren't whipping anybody. An email obtained through a records request reveals that DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was privately alerted by DHS officials that the whipping narrative behind the infamous horseback Border Patrol photos wasn't true. Oops. But at a press conference hours later, Mayorkas didn't stop or dispute that narrative. Oops. The email was obtained by the Heritage Foundation, which filed a Freedom of Information Act request with DHS. Oops. Seven months ago, seeking all DHS communications about the incident with the horseback agents in Del Rio, Texas last summer. Now, by the way, the Heritage Foundation is a conservative think tank. They filed a Freedom of Information Act to get this video, to get these memos. Why didn't the New York Times do that? Why didn't the Washington Post do that? LA Times, Chicago, Chicago Tribune, after all, they are, are allegedly newspapers, emphasize the word news. Last week, DHS finally produced an initial batch of emails, including one from September 24th, 2021, the same day President Biden said this. To see people treat it like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped. You know, whenever there's a race card, you know Biden's going to pick it up because Biden is the great white savior. You know the guy that used to strategize when he was a kid in Wilmington on how to desegregate movie theaters and restaurants in Wilmington, Delaware? No evidence he ever did any of that. You know, the great white savior who went to South Africa and tried to see Nelson Mandela when Nelson Mandela was behind bars. No evidence that he ever did any of that. You know, the great white savior who said to Charlemagne the God, if you don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or Donald Trump, you ain't black. The great white savior who told a bunch of black people in a speech that Mitt Romney wants to unchain Wall Street, wants to put y'all back in chains. You know, the great white savior who said about a Barack Obama in 2008, you know, he's the first black, clean, articulate African America. Man, that's a storybook. This guy, Barack Obama, actually showers every day, says Joe Biden. It's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. And the great white savior who says, you know, I wasn't even going to run for office again until that guy who preceded me, referring to Trump, he doesn't like to say the T word. He said about Charlottesville, about these people that were coming out of the forest, holding tiki torches, eyes and veins bulging. And what did the guy before me say, referring to Donald Trump? There were good people on both sides. Even Jake Tapper of CNN that I watched that you don't have to, and Michael Schmarconish of CNN that I watched that you don't have to, both said a year and a half later, Donald Trump, when he referred to good people on both sides, was referring to the debate about whether or not there ought to be a Confederate monument in the public square. He wasn't saying there were good Nazis and bad Nazis on both sides, but the great white savior, Joe Biden, still says it. He recently said it to an international group of people. It's a lie, but that has never stopped Joe down with the people. Biden does it. Now, hours after the president's comments, Marsha Espinoza, DHS's top public affairs official, sent this email to Secretary Mayorkas and other DHS officials at 12.05 p.m. In the email, Espinoza sends Mayorkas a news article and literally highlights that the photographer who took the infamous whipping photos said in an interview that things aren't what they seem with his photos, that he and his colleagues never saw agents whipping anybody, and that his images were being misconstrued. So Mayorkas knew this before he has a press conference where he talks about every community was outraged by this. You don't have to be a black community or a brown community to be outraged by this. Although, of course, obviously, if you're in the black community, said Mayorkas, and the brown community, you're going to feel this more acutely than if you're not black or brown. He knew ahead of time it wasn't true, said it anyway. But two and a half hours after receiving that email, Mayorkas joined a press conference at the White House where he failed to dispute the whipping narrative that President Biden and other politicians were pushing. Instead, he called the images horrifying. Once again, playing the race card. Once again, the 
Subtext is America remains a systemically racist country and we Democrats in the battle for social justice wear the white hat and these dastardly guys over there also known as rough, rough, rough Republicans, they wear the black hat. Now, what do we have here? We've got a, a my pillow. I just happen to have it with me. Now, look at the number on your screen. Call it. There are over 100 my pillow products. I don't think they sell whips or chains or reins. And they come in different shapes, different sizes. And be sure to use promo code Larry when you go to mypillow.com. Promo code Larry. You have the finest night sleep of your life if you don't have a my pillow already. And they've also got other products such as these beautiful, soft, like you're walking on a cloud, my slippers. They come in different styles and different colors. This is a beautiful tan color, but they come in different styles and different colors. Or did I just now say they come in different styles and different colors? But just in case you don't know, they come in different styles and different colors. And what's this? This is a Giza Dream bed sheet. Again, different sizes and different colors, the finest cotton in the world in an area uh, in Egypt. And Mike went around the world to find the finest cotton in the world, and he found it. And this is the Giza Dream bed sheets. So, mypillow.com, promo code ELDER, or click on the number on the screen. You will be glad you did. Now remember, you can always call the show 888-971-7243 and leave a message. And please make sure your message is 59 seconds or less. And please, please, please try to refrain from using profanity. This is a family-oriented show. Speaking of Joe Biden lies, here's his latest whopper. Just imagine, I mean it sincerely, I say this as a father of a man who won the Bronze Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. Imagine the courage, the daring. Did he just say his son who died from cancer in 2015 lost his life in Iraq? Can I hear that again, please? Just imagine, I mean it sincerely. I say this as a father of a man who won the Bronze Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. Imagine the courage, the daring, and the genuine sacrifice, genuine sacrifice they all made. Yeah, he just said his son lost his life in Iraq. His son tragically died. He died of cancer. He did not lose his life in Iraq. Now, there's a term called stolen valor, and that's when people lie about being in the military or lie about having experienced combat. One of the Democratic senators said he experienced combat in Vietnam. He did not. He got hammered for that, he apologized. So here, Joe Biden is using frankly stolen valor, referring to his son, Bo, who quote, died in Iraq. He died of cancer and died stateside. Now, it's possible, of course, Joe, who's suffering cognitive diminishment is forgetting, but the White House keeps defending Joe and saying he's perfectly fine, perfectly fit, which means this wasn't attributable to some sort of declining faculties. There's another word for this, which was be a lie. Can I hear this one more time, please? Just imagine, I mean it sincerely, I say this as a father of a man who won the Bronze Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. Imagine the courage, the daring, and the genuine sacrifice, genuine sacrifice they all made. Yeah, uh, he claims that his son, Bo, died in Iraq. Now, as you know, when you know who was in office, I'm talking about President 45, the Washington Post, the New York Times, I forget which one, they're interchangeable, ran a fact check count, and they added up the number of lies that he allegedly made. They immediately stopped doing that when Joe Biden became president. 
I wonder how many lies Joe Biden has made since he's been in prison. We don't know because the newspapers don't have a running tally the way they did for you know who. I'm not suggesting there's a double standard because why should I suggest it? We know there's a double standard. Selective outrage, hypocrisy. Now, speaking of the cancel culture, last night I posted this meme, which I thought was funny. And it says, Payday Candy Bar is changing its name because it's offensive to those who don't work. By the way, there's a grammatical error in that. Look at this thing again. Payday Candy Bar is changing its name with an apostrophe. This is a possessive, not a contraction. So they should not have had an apostrophe on the first it's. I just want you to know that I know this because I'm going to get a phone call. Larry, I teach grammar. I can't believe you put up that meme with this error in it. I knew it was an error when I put it up. I didn't write it. So it shouldn't have an apostrophe on the first it's. The second one should because it's a contraction, meaning it is offensive. Payday Candy Bar is changing its name because it's offensive to those who don't work. Clearly satire, clearly sarcasm, clearly it's a joke, right? I posted it on Instagram and immediately I got this. False information. The same information was viewed by independent fact checkers in another post. And you can click it on and you can find out that the fact checkers who fact checked satire said that what Elder posted was not true. So I reposted it. And I said, satire exclamation point, satire exclamation point, satire exclamation point in the description. And they still posted false information. The was reviewed by independent fact checkers in another post. I mean, really? You cannot be serious. Now, more satire, and at least this time, I didn't get flagged. There has been a Hunter Biden sighting. What? Ex-pimp, homeless and whoreless, hashtag pimp lives matter. I'm joking, Instagram. I'm joking, Twitter. I'm joking, Facebook. Please don't cancel me. Hope you enjoyed that video. The full show is available to watch right now on Epoch TV. Just click the link in the description below to learn more because we've got a country to save.